This is our first of two public performances of our spring show, Jack Against the Ogre. We've had uh, a few school performances so far. Uh, we began with a show on Wednesday for the kindergarten and first grade students from Chess who came over, saw it, they had a great big time. Then we were able to do it yesterday for the forest student body who had a great big time as well. Two different age groups of audiences, but they enjoyed it. None uh, done the same, but they enjoyed it. They, they each got something different out of it. They're like, sure, I'm sure you will, as primarily adults. Uh, we want to say thank you very much for uh, coming and supporting all the hard work that the students have put together uh, to get this show to a viewable state. Uh, from all the actors that you'll see performing on stage to all the technicians whose work you will see on stage, even though you might not see their, their faces, you'll see the handiwork that they have labored over the last several months to create. We have, uh, we've had a diverse season this year, uh, going from the fall's Night of the Living Dead to spring's fairy tale Jack Against the Ogre. Uh, it's been a nice set of bookends to be able to see two extremes. Uh, both shows that we chose this season were shows that brought challenging technical requirements to our student body. I'm happy to say that they overcame all of those challenges uh, with gusto. In the event, of an emergency. The exits are located to the rear of the theater uh, and to your left. Please silence all electronic devices and enjoy the show. Yes, Mother? As you know, you're very poor. Yes, Mother. Very poor. 
And we have no money. Yes, mother. I mean, no mother. I mean, none, mother. Say, I have an idea. What if I were to go out in search of work? Surely there's something I can do that earn a little money for us. You work? Why the very idea? And to do what? You with the job? <laughs> He was fighting for. But it gets an ogre, a very strong and powerful ogre. What was he thinking? What do you think that he can best an ogre in battle? But, mother, the ogre stole from us. He took what little we had for his own selfish pleasures. That was it, right? His father knew it. Oh, what's right? What's wrong? What does it matter now? Your father being right. What did your father gain from being right? Nothing. And we lost everything in the world that is. Except. Except? Well, it brings me to what the question we have now does of any value is Milky White. My best friend. Oh, would you please stop calling her that, Jack? She's a silly old cow. And before she gets any older, you must take her to the market. To market? Oh, Milky White prefers the meadows. The market has too many people milling about. I'm hardly in dress. Milky White loves dress. Sometimes when we go to Not to play with her, Jack. You must take Milky White to the market and sell her. Sell her? Sell my best friend? My cow? No, Mother. There must be another way to get money. There must be. Well, of course we don't just stand here and wait for it to fall from the sky. Really? I'll get a bucket to catch the Jack! We must take Milky White to the market and sell her today, now. Hmm. Perhaps we still have time to come in with the price. Let's say 10 pounds. Yes, mother, 10 pounds. And not a penny less. Yes, mother, but do I have to? Yes, you have to. Now go, quickly. The market way is quite a off and I will eat one by dark. Yes, mother. Don't you want to say goodbye to Uncle mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Milky White, what will I do without you? I know you're just a cow, but still. You are my best friend. You're my only friend. You never say that I'm dumb and dim-witted. You never say that I'm just a foolish dreamer. You never say, well, you never say anything, actually. <laughs> but I guess that's just part of your charm. I sure wish there was a way to keep you. But Mother says I have to take you to market. So that's just what I'm going to do. I have to show her that I'm smart enough to carry out this task. She doesn't think I'm very smart, Milky White. She doesn't believe that'll ever amount to anything. But I am smart, and I will be somebody someday. Somebody great and important, I hope. Maybe I'll lead men into battle. Forward, ho! Or single-handedly slay a dragon. Or even conquer a kingdom. Oh, Milky White, I have so many dreams, so many plans for the future. It can't be all that life has in store for me. It just can't be. It's not much further with Milky White. I can see the marketplace from here. Now remember what Mother said, 10 pounds and not a penny more. What? <laughs> oh yes, not a penny less. What would I do without you, Milky White? Guess I'll find out soon enough, won't I? Oh there, Jack, and where might you be off to with this fine cow? Well, uh, say, how did you come to know my name? Perhaps I didn't come to know your name. Perhaps I knew your name before I come. Perhaps it is just simply that Jack was plentiful in the scheme and slack there. He sure fans call everyone I run into along his path for their Jack and his trip sooner or later. No? No. I mean, yes. I mean, that's very clever. I think. If you're so smart, perhaps you can tell me where I'm off to with this one cow. Well, let me see. I would say that you and my mother are very poor. So you need to bring Milky White to market where you will sell her. Golly, you are clever. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the presence of Mario the Traveler. My card? I think we're not a card. Go 
because my magic beans. Why would you do such a thing, son? I thought that if they really were magic, it would make you happy. I just wanted to see you happy again. Happy? Happiness makes me happy, Jack. We're going to bring back Jack and his magic beans. Come on. Now we have nothing. No food, no money, no cow, nothing. We have the beans. Which are you split? Mother, maybe the beans weren't really magic. But they were beans, which means we could have eaten them. Now we have nothing. Oh, and this is my fault now? How dare you speak to me like that? You should be ashamed of yourself, Jack. You're a foolish boy, and that's all you will ever be. Now, we'll talk about what you've done in the morning. Yes, Mother. I really did think they might be magic. Magic beans. I have raised a boy who believes in magic beans. And talks to cows. <laughs> How was there ever a woman first time? very upset if she knew I was planning to go on away. At least I hope she would be upset. Don't worry, I'm not running away forever. Just until I can figure out what to do. I got us into this mess, so I'm the one who's gonna get us out. Magic beans, where was my head? How could I let that Mr. Mario the Traveler trick me like that? I guess my mother was right after all. I am free. No matter how many dreams and schemes fill my head, I'll never amount to so much as a pile of Beans! Look at that! A giant beanstalk! That means they were magic! They really were magic! I was right! I was right all along! Wow! Look how high up it goes! Straight to the skies! Wait a minute! The skies! The ogre! The ogre lives in his kingdom in the skies! I'll wager this beanstalk will take me right to him! And maybe right to my destiny! And so Jack climbs and climbs and climbs. Making his way all the way up to the top of the big stop, not knowing what or who was going to get there. <laughs> some magic beans. My beans. I traded them away for mine. Well, that's not really important right now. I knew the bean salt would take me to the ogre, and it did. And well, here I am. Why would anybody go through all of that trouble just to see the ogre? He's, well, he's not very nice. Trust me, ma'am. 
I know that. You said friends who. Mother, who are you talking to? Oh. Is the ogre having dinner at the liquor tonight? No, no, of course not, dear. Girl, this is. Oh, dear. Who are you? The name's Jack. You know. Hello, Jack. I'm Letty, and these are my daughters, Melody and Hannah. Now, Jack, I think it's best that you be. <coughs> Meaning no disrespect, ma'am. But did you happen to notice that one of your daughters is a heart and the other is a hand? I'm quite aware of that, son. You see, they're enchanted. They sure are. No, I mean, the ogres cast a spell upon them. One day last year, the ogre happened upon our cottage as he was stealing treasures from the frightened villagers. When the ogre looked upon Melody, he decided he must have her as his wife. Marry me, and I will give you all that your heart desires. He said, all that my heart desires is love, and you cannot provide me with that. She said, this of course angered the ogre, and he commanded a nasty little troll to turn Melody into a golden heart. Now I must provide for him music for his entertainment. So one of your brides, the fickle ogre, looked upon Hannah and decided he must have her as his wife. Marry me, and I will give you all that your heart desires. He said, all that my heart desires is love. And you cannot provide me with that. She said, this angered the ogre as well, and he commanded the very same troll to turn Hannah into a hen that lays golden eggs. Now I too must provide for the ogre. When the ogre stole away with my daughters and brought them up here to his kingdom up in the sky, I thought it best I come along too. The ogre has stolen from my family as well. He has also robbed me of a father, leaving me with a mother who is moody. But in this place, I come here to beg the ogre as well, avenge my father's death, and return the villagers stolen treasures. In the meantime, I'm awfully hungry. Come with me to the kitchen. I'll grab you something to eat, and we'll discuss this foolish notion of you fighting the ogre. But come along, lad. Do you think Jack could really do it, Melody? Best the ogre, I mean. I don't know. <sighs> He's awfully cute. Cute does not slay an ogre, Hannah. Brave slays an ogre. Strong slays an ogre. Clever slays an ogre. But he is awfully cute. <laughs> <laughs> so just suppose Jack did fight the ogre and win. Then the curses upon us would be removed, wouldn't they? Yes, I believe so, Hannah. Then I wouldn't have to be a heart. And I wouldn't have to be a head. Then perhaps life for us would be as it was before. Before. Back when we were just foolish girls with foolish fancies. No eggs. No tea. No ogre. There now. You've had a little something to eat. Now off you go. Take this fruit with you. What was that room we passed by? Oh, well I suppose it'd be the ogre's treasure room. You now mean then. stolen treasure room. Yes. Well, we'll chat about that some other time. So nice to have met you, Jack, but you'd best be off before the ogre. Be my boat! Too late! Oh dear. Uh, quick, Jack, into the cupboard with you. Into the cupboard! Sometimes, being a big, mean ogre, 
lurking and terrorizing, terrorizing and lurking, listening to the bleeding and crying and begging. <laughs> Good thing that I love my work. Let's have a look at today's tank. Hmm. Junk, junk, and more junk. Ugh. Seems the villagers get poorer and poorer as I get richer and richer. Maybe I should give back some of the good stuff. Make it worth it for me to go back down there and steal it from them again. <laughs> well, what are you two just sitting there for? I'll say it's time for a little entertainment. Play hot. And then, let's have some golden eggs. Yes, Master. It's all very good and well to drink, to hope for a better life. I've been doing just that practically all my life. Dreaming, hoping, wanting things to change, thinking maybe if I just waited long enough, something would happen to me. But maybe, maybe it's me that has to happen. What I mean is, there comes a time when you realize that you have to stop dreaming and waiting and start doing. Nothing's ever going to be right for me or you or anybody in the village if we just sit here waiting. I've got to, we've got to do something. I've got to do something. Only, I don't know just what yet. I'm gonna head home tonight. I have to see that my mother is all right. I don't know why, but I, I miss her. And who knows, maybe she'll even help me figure out what to do. But don't you worry, ma'am. I'll be back, and I promise to help you and your daughters however I can. Ma'am, you show me what family could be like. Should be like. I'll never forget that. Go quickly, Jack, and may the angels watch over you. Be fire, foe, come! The ogre is awake. You must hide before you can leave, Jack. 
My mind on the work to be done. When I know there's so much work to be done. I've got to rescue Letty and her daughters from their plight. Return the village of stolen treasures and get rid of the ogre. Forever. If Mother isn't going to help me, I'll just have to figure out a way on my own. I just hope I can. And before it's too late. Treasure room, then. 
good thing for it. <laughs> but I don't really think it's such a good idea to hurry. We have a moment to lose. Jack would let us down. I just knew it. Now, if I only knew what he was planning. Hello? Jack! I've come back to rescue you and your family, Melody. Yes, I know. Right now, what we need to do is wait. You know? But how could you? Never mind. What's important now is that we find a way to rid the kingdom of this terrible world, thereby dispelling your curse, so you and Hannah can be girls again. Oh, Jack, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah. And to be a girl again. Yeah. And yet... Yeah. Whenever I'm around you, Jack, I don't feel like I'm just a harp at all. I feel very girlish. Do you know what I mean? No. Come here, Jack. <laughs> now, don't you feel something too? You mean, do I feel girlish? <laughs> no, that's not what I mean at all. <laughs> oh, Jack, how can I make you understand how I feel when I hope you can understand it myself? I. I've never felt this way before. Me neither. When I'm around you, Melody, I feel like I could do just about anything. I feel smart and brave and kind of dizzy. <laughs> but I don't feel girlish. So don't forget about girlish, Jack. Okay. Mm -hmm. From time to time, my mother will talk about my mom. In her eyes, I see the same feeling that I'm feeling now. A feeling that I just can't put into words. Unless... Unless... Oh, Jack, I'm so glad that you came back. Me too. I never doubted that you would return to find a way to make things right. So when Mar and Maria said that... And Mr. Mar is a traveler? Is he here? Yes, with his wife Maria. Didn't you send them here to help us? No. How did they say they were going to help you? Oh, well, let me see. They said they would, or maybe they were going to, or they might even have to. Oh, dear. They're up to something. Where are they? Mother and Hannah took them to the treasure room. The treasure room? Could they possibly run in the treasure room? The treasure! What's wrong? We are from where is Jack? I'm right here. What should I do? What are you two doing here? Oh, it's very simple. Just tell them where No, you don't. This time you tell them. Me? Well, we were done. What's in the sacks? What's that? What's that? Oh, need sacks? Nothing. I'll just bet they stole them to fill the treasure. Where's my mother and my sister? We haven't seen them, have we, Mario? No. How? And they're definitely not tied up in the <laughs> Idiot! Let's go! Right. No. Be my bogart! The ogre! <gasps> the treasure! The ogre!
Get your daughters and the villagers stolen treasures and start down the beanstalk. But what about you, child? You have to take care of the ogre, but I promise I'll be right behind you. But I promise. We better do as Jack says. Be careful, Jack. I'll be waiting for you down at the village. Now I'll give you something. My heart is pounding. Let me out! Oh, the ogre. Come and get me. We'd like to take this time to point out that there are some people that you can't see. We have some technicians backstage. We also have our technicians over at the light and sound corner over here uh, who all worked very hard as well as all the people that you have gotten to see during the course of the show. We want to give them a round of applause. And we want to say thank you once again to all of you for coming and helping support all of the work that these students have put in to get to exercise their artistic creativity uh, and bring you hopefully uh, 
a little bit of Saturday afternoon enjoyment. We have one more performance left on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock. So thank you very, very much for coming. At this time, feel free to go find your favorite actor or technician, take some pictures. Thank you.